by Dallas, make it hurt. Yo, good morning, everybody. We're out here. One of my favorite uh, bodies of water. It's about 7:36. It's about 53 degrees air temp, um, and uh, we're gonna try to get some quality fish today. Had a little bit of luck yesterday. Got the skunk off. Uh, I think I'm starting to understand some of the patterns that we're seeing here during this transition time. So, um, yeah, we're gonna hit it. Stay tuned. Yes, right off the bat, three minutes in, stay on bud, nice, literally guys that was no editing, that was maybe my fourth cast this morning and that is the way to start the day, solid little one pounder maybe. And that is a good sign. My camera says three minutes and 12 seconds. And that's when I started fishing three minutes ago. So, yes. Ooh. Ooh. I was on the wacky rig. And that is a good sign. It is a great sign for this morning. Getting them on them. Getting on them early. I'm just. I'm using a, uh, I think it's a two aught wacky rig hook with a uh, weed guard. And the thing that bugs me about these weed guards, um, number one, they get, once you hook a fish, they get kind of uh, messed up in the O ring if you're using an O ring, which I recommend. But the other thing is, they get all bent up really quick. I mean, the hooks have a lot of integrity, um, but these weed guards, and I feel like I've missed some fish because of these uh, weed guards. So, I don't know, if you can uh, fish without them, if you, if you are fishing a, a body of water that you don't need them, I, I kind of recommend going without the weed guard, but unfortunately where I'm fishing, uh, I can't do that. So that's what we're using. We're using a green, blue speckle, uh, wacky rig. First thing, I also have an inline spinner tied up and a chatterbait this morning. Whew. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. hit that right on the drop. No action on my part, which is what I really like about these wacky rigs. A lot of times, um, I don't even, I don't like to work the wacky rig over uh, long distance, meaning um, I'd rather make shorter, more frequent casts because I, I, I get maybe 80% of the fish I catch on a wacky rig is just on the initial drop. So for me to, to uh, cast a, a long distance and then work it, I feel like it's just losing time. There's another one. No joke. Get in the boat. And I was a little bigger. That's just what I was saying. There we go. A little better. Let's weigh this guy. We're off to a killer start this morning.
1.4 pounds. I'm getting bigger. And that's what I'm talking about. This guy's been hooked before. I see a couple spots on his nose. But that's a good bass. That's two in six minutes. Thank you. Thank you for that, buddy. You did a bath. All right, well, maybe our luck has run out here. It's okay. Got plenty of spots today. Well, besides the one hit we had, um, right at the boat on the Chatter Bay, not much action. So I'm gonna move on a little bit, try to hit some different spots, see if we can get more fish in the boat. All right, well, aside from the first six minutes of fishing, it's been pretty slow. It's about 9.40. I guess I've been out here about two hours. And uh, yeah, it's been a grind finding a bite. Uh, since that f first little flurry. So I'm going to stick to the shoreline, work my way back to the boat ramp, work my way back to our original spot that we actually got a bite and see if there's any fish still there, of course. I'm gonna keep doing the damn thing. Well guys, I think that's going to do it for me today. We caught, uh, we caught two good bass uh, in the first five minutes. In the next two hours and 15 minutes, we're, we're a little bit slow. The tide has changed on me. It's ripping pretty good right now, so I'm going to get out of the water, uh, go on with my day. But I hope you guys are catching fish today. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. I'm going to keep trying to put fish in the boat and posting them. Uh, I hope you guys do the same. So take care of yourself. Keep it real. See you next time.